Kansas City police say all too often people who carry guns in their vehicles are reporting them stolen. That's our top story at noon. I'm Pat McGonigal. And I'm Kim Burns. Fox 4's John Pepitone is live outside police headquarters to explain how gun thefts are fueling violent crime in the metro. John? Yeah, that's right, Kim. You know, Kansas City police say relaxed gun laws in Missouri have create have resulted in more people carrying guns in their cars, and that's given criminals easier access to some deadly firepower. Now, Kansas City police say so far this year, more than 600 guns have been reported stolen from vehicles. That's a 19% over 19% increase over last year's total. Police say nearly two guns a day are reported stolen in Kansas City, and that may just be the tip of the iceberg because Missouri does not require owners to report that their firearms have been stolen. Police say stolen guns are likely to be later used in homicides or shootings. Hotspots for gun thefts include the streets around Westport, the Power and Light District, and other entertainment areas. Nearly 100 guns have been stolen from vehicles parked around the Westport Entertainment District, which is a huge problem both for police and the city. You know, visitors are screened for weapons before entering the nightclub area, so many are leaving guns unsecured in their cars, making them easy pickings for thieves. Mayor Quentin Lucas says the entertainment district visitors need to leave their guns at home. The city is considering requiring more lighting around Westport and staggering closing times so that not everyone is emptying out into the streets at 3 a.m. And the mayor also says that something needs to be done before half of the population in our region is afraid to visit Westport because of all of the shootings. Kim, Pat. All right, John Pepitone, thanks for that at this hour.